Hello and welcome back to Technology for Blind YouTube channel. I'm back with another requested video. So from this video, I'm going to show how to use the Microsoft Office Word in a kind of a basic things. Okay. Now, first, I'm going to show how to use the Microsoft Word and the upcoming videos from the upcoming videos. I'm going to show Excel and PowerPoint. Okay. So these are some of the basic things, extremely basic things, uh, which I use uh, in my daily life. Uh, for instance, when it comes to Word, I'm using for creating documents and uh, creating reports, all those stuffs. Okay. So if you are interested in uh, learning about the basics when it comes to Microsoft Word, Excel and PowerPoint, uh, in a screen reader perspective, in a uh, screen reader user perspective, hope I'm clear. Uh, this video is for you and um, I'm using Microsoft Office 2016 package um, if you are using the 2007 package or 2010 package um, the things slightly differs but don't worry uh, most of the times the shortcuts are applicable for both the two versions okay now Microsoft Office 27 and uh, Sorry, 2007 and 2010 are different versions, kind of uh, all the versions. From 2013, they have kind of updated the entire layout, a little bit more modern thing. And uh, it has given us more features than the previous versions. And uh, I would like to recommend you to upgrade as soon as possible the Microsoft Office package. To the latest version which is 2019 or something but if you could update to 2016 it would be so much easier for you because uh, there are numerous amount of features for instance you can open PDF files and edit on the way where it won't be applicable for applicable for uh, 2007 and 2010 because you can't open uh, PDF files uh, on Microsoft 2007 okay so I hope I'm clear and uh, let's begin the tutorial and also I'd like to apologize for the bad audio if it is because um, you know a little bit bad but I hope uh, this would not be an issue okay so let's get started now I'm gonna open the word you can open the word using the start menu start window first on the window search box edit land. and you can type word Word app press right to switch preview one to five. This is the standard way of opening, or you can uh, pin the shortcut to the desktop and you can open from that, or you can open from the taskbar by pinning the application to the taskbar, and also you can go to the run dialog Windows plus R. Run dialog type the name of a prop, and you can type win word w i n w o r d okay and press enter then desktop list this pc not selected one of eight word opening. will be word. open open document okay. one word right. microsoft word document edit multi line page one section one plan now if you have installed word and uh, if you haven't configured anything the first screen would be to choose a, a document template for instance there will be um, reports and uh, all those stuffs what you have to do is you have to choose the blank document template which it has been selected automatically in my case because i have uh, configured the preferences to not prompt anything just open a blank document uh, but in your case if you haven't configured the thing the software then you will be presented with the screen where you have to choose whatever you want okay so with that being said let's get started word is um kind of a advanced way of uh, creating documents for instance when it comes to notepad notepad doesn't give you more control over your document just a blank text but in word you can do lots of things kind like uh, bold underline italic and spell check um, all those things creating headings tables references all those are kind of advanced things but in this case i'm going to show the basics okay Parity. so first of all let's create a kind of a summary um, small document speak type characters on now I'm toggling this speak type character by using NVDA key the insert key plus two where it will speak to letters which I'm gonna type now okay so let's type um, H hello e -L -L -O 
Welcome to space. Tutorial tutorials on on space microsoft microsoft word space 2016 2016 uh, now let's hello and welcome to this tutorial on microsoft word 2016 this is a, a line one line land let's type another um t a e the space a quick brown fox Q -Q Select you, ask a quick spit me, R O F R O F box, U, U, J U F E S, O V E R O T A E L A, Y, Link O G, Dog. The quick round box jumps over the lazy dog. Okay, so if you want to uh, change the font or if you would like to kind of um, highlight a text, let's say, okay, what you can do is you can. Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Microsoft Word 2016. You can select a line. Or whatever if you want you can select control a and you, you can select whole document in this case I'm gonna select the first line which I'm gonna do by pressing shift down arrow hello and welcome to this tutorial on Microsoft Word 2016 select okay. now you can go to the top of the document by pressing control home and bottom of the document by pressing control end and you can select the line by pressing shift plus down arrow all select is control a these are standard keyboard shortcuts i'm assuming that you know about this okay so to change the font the easiest way which i'm using is press alt and uh, ribbon tab tab control collapsed home tab alt h2 of 12 okay now press h f s h a f f s lower ribbon grouping home grouping font grouping font size combo box collapse change the size of your text 11 edit selected 11 now it's in 11 now, since I have selected one line, okay, it will change only the selected line, okay? So, let's say... 11, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. Okay, this would be nice. Press enter and uh, the changes will be applied. 24, 20, 20. Um, yeah, you have to press escape to get out, get out of the thing. Document. But in all the versions, if you press enter, it will return to the document. But in this case, it doesn't work, I think. Page one, section one. Anyways, let's create a title kind of thing. Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Microsoft. I have come to the top of the document and press enter to get a new line on the top of the document. Land. Let's give another line. Land. And uh, introduction, let's say introduction. I N S S T R U U O D U C T I O N introduction so let's select this word by pressing ctrl shift right arrow introduction selected and let's move the text to center by pressing ctrl e centered you can move the uh, text to the selected text to uh, left by pressing ctrl h uh, sorry ctrl l left aligned and uh, ctrl e to center centered and uh, i think ctrl right aligned yeah ctrl r is right okay now let's move to center centered and let's change the font a little bit. F S ribbon tabs 20, 48. Okay, 48 would be nice. And uh, if you want to bold the text, which will kind of uh, more, more highlight the text, okay? These are some of the visual aspects of the designing part, okay? You can press Ctrl B, B for Bravo. Bold on. Okay, bold on. If you would like to check the status of the uh, text you, which you have selected, you can press NVDA key, the insert key plus F, okay? And it will report all of the things. Okay, let's see. Style normal delivery 48 PT default color bold align center line spacing 1.1 lines. Now it has been bold, and if you want to underline the text, okay, you can press Ctrl plus U. Underline on. Underline on. And if you want to turn on italic mode, you can press Ctrl I. Italic on. Okay, these are some of the visual things, <clears throat> as I said. So it depends on your situation. Now. Uh, the next thing which I'm using regularly is spell checker. Okay, let's delete all the things. Hello and welcome to page one sec. Land. Uh, let's get a new document. Okay, you can do this by pressing Control N. Document two Word Microsoft Word document edit multi line page one and document. Doc you can move to the other document by pressing con Control F six. Document 1, Word, Microsoft Word, Document, Edit, Multi-Line, Page 1, Section this. 1, 
Microsoft Word dialog want to save your changes to document one? If you click don't save, a recent copy of this file will be temporarily available. Learn more, learn more. Microsoft Word. In this case, I don't want to save that. Don't save button alt plus N. Either you can press the don't save button or you can um, quickly press alt N to activate the shortcut, okay? Document two, Word. Okay. Now, let's type some text where I'm gonna misspell something and uh, let's check how the spell checker works so what can we type let's say in this tutorial uh, let's leave the a and uh, let's misspell the tutorial i didn't type l tutorial comma tutorial space i i i m m space g i n g Gain space space King space e o okay. space e a l k talk a b o u a b o space a c r a f t m a t r d word dot a o p hop space y o u u space dot i l will space e n j o n j o dot okay so uh, quite a few mistakes let's see in this tutorial I'm going to talk about Microsoft Word oh my God Happy will enjo okay so to activate the spell checker, you can press F7 and you will be returned to the spell checker window. Toolbar, A, Will, W, I, L, Spelling, Not a Dictionary, Grouping, Original Sentence, Edit, Read Only, Hoppy, Will, Enjo. Now, the speciality of the Microsoft Office 2016 version is there are more dictionary kind of entries and more explanation on the word and what the word means, okay? Uh, but uh, as far as I remember, this doesn't contains in the 27 version of uh, sorry 20 uh, 2007 version of Word, where it has some poor explanation and uh, poor dictionary since it is old. Okay, so let's check uh, let's check what's going on. Read original sentence button. Read original sentence. If, if text want, is selected, the selection will be read. If you want, you can read the uh, sentence. Space. Hope you will enjoy. Okay. So, suggestions grouping will similar to determination mind desire split button collapsed. So these are the explanation. Wild similar to rough enthusiastic stormy split button collapsed. Now depending on the situation you have to pick the appropriate ex explanation the, the word but in some cases uh, it might get wrong like uh, in some names say your name if you typed your name obviously your name doesn't contain in, in a dictionary so you have to ignore all those things. If you want that, you can. Will similar to other actions grouping. Ignore once but nine. Ignore once, which will ignore the will. The word misspelled will will ignore once. Okay, only one time. When it occurs again, it will prompt you to choose another word. But ignore all button G. If you press ignore all, the whole world or the whole word will be ignored by the system. Okay. So let's change the word. Why will will W I L spelling not a dictionary grouping read original sentence button read original sentence if text is select suggestions grouping will similar to determination mind desire split button collapsed. Yeah, this is the word which I'm wanting. So let's press space bar or enter. Enjo E N J O spelling not a dictionary grouping read original sentence button read suggestions grouping enjoy similar to like possess relish split button collapsed enjoy similar to likes possesses relish split button collapsed enjoy similar to order charge command split button collapsed other actions grouping ignore one button okay so it has Enjo suggestion given the word enjoy similar to like possess relish split button collapsed so let's space space bar Ging, G I N G spelling, not a dictionary. Read original suggestions grouping, going similar to successful yep. accepted available split button collapsed. Great. A boo, a B O U spelling, not a dictionary. Let's see. Read original sentence button, read suggestions grouping, about similar to around approximately concerning split button collapsed. Wow. Microsoft Word dialog spelling and grammar check is complete. OK button. OK. Document so two. It has been completed. And if you. Let's say you have moved the focus to the document exact document in that case what you can do is press f6 to cycle through the toolbar window and page status bar status bar page number page one the one button the current page number in the document Click now on there are a few options like page number word count word count 14 words button the number of words in the document click or tap to open the word count dialog box spelling and grammar check no errors button checking for grouping errors 
Yeah, these are some of the advanced tools where you can utilize to your own needs. Okay. Now, say you are preparing a uh, kind of a big document, very important document, then these tools might help you out. Okay. Language English, United States button language. Read mode toggle button. Not press the best way to read a document, including some tools designed for reading instead of writing. Print layout toggle button. Press see how the document will look if printed. Web layout toggle button. Not press see how your document would look as a web page. This layout is also great if you have wide tables in your document. Zoom out button. Zoom out. Zoom and button zoom in. Zoom 100% button zoom level. Click to open the zoom dialog box. Page number page one to one button the current page number in the document. Click or tap to open the navigation pane. Okay. So these are the controls. But. Pane. Ribbon tabs tab control collapsed. Home tab alt H2 of 12. If you press F6 again, you will be landed on the toolbar, the, the ribbon tab. And again, if you press F6. Microsoft Word document edit multi-line. Page one section one in this tutorial. I'm going to talk about Microsoft Word. You will be landed in the document okay and let's look at how to work with tables a little bit um, it's kind of an advanced thing where I don't use table most often but let's try to in this tutorial work with the table Land. so what you have to do is go to the insert tab ribbon tabs tab control collapsed home tab alt h2 of 12 you can press all to the to get to the ribbons window ribbon window where you will get lot of tabs you can press right left arrow to navigate through tabs so let's press right arrow to get the insert tab insert tab all 10 3 of 12 let's press down arrow quick access to over tool bar customized tool bar collapsed ribbon tabs tab control collapsed insert tab all 10 3 of 12 sorry not down arrow edit land uh, you have to press space bar now in my case i have collapsed the ribbon so it has saved lot of spaces but in default, you can press down arrow or tab to navigate to whatever options under the t under the tab, the um, insert tab or home tab. Now in my case, Microsoft Word, ribbon tab, insert tab, all tab three of twelve. I have to pre press space bar to expand the tab. Space. Lower ribbon grouping, insert grouping, pages grouping, pages collapse, all tab ZP. Now the advantage is. The NVDA, the screen reading function is kind of more responsive if you collapse the tab, okay? You try to experience and help me know in the comment section, okay? So, let's press tab. Table grouping, table collapse, day table is a great way to organize information within your document. All 10, T. Yep, tables, let's press space bar. Space, table data grid, 1x1 table grouping, 1x1 table 1 of 80, 1x2 table 11 of 80, 1x3 table 21 of 80. Uh, 1x4 table 1x5 1x4 table 31 of 80 2x4 table 32 of 80 1x1 1x1 table 1 of 80 2x1 table 3x 3x2x1 quick tables collapse all 10 excel spreadsheet insert mic convert text to table unavailable split a single column of text into multiple columns for example you can separate a column of full names into separate first and last name columns you can choose how to split now these are some of the advanced things where it depends on your situation okay so i'm not going to go into deep about these things where i don't know actually okay so draw table not check insert table all 10 table Insert table, table data grid, 10x, 10x8 table, 80 of 80, 1x1 table, 10x1 table, 9, 1x2, 2x1 table, 2x, 2x2 table, 2 table, Microsoft Word, land, row 2, row 1, row 2, column 2, col column 2, column 3, out of table, line 3, Ta row 1, row 2, row land, row 2, row, you can get to the first row of the first uh, column, and uh, let's type name, A -A -E. Now these are some of the advanced things where I'm not going to explain what a table kind of thing. You have to get an idea. If you would like to, then let me know. I will try my best. Okay. So you can press tab to move to the next column. Next, um, what do you, what do you call the column two line feed? Column two. Okay. Column, column two. Column two. Let's say uh, age. A. Okay. G E. Let's press tab. Row two, column one. Let's say John. J. 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 O. H. N. Column 2. Let's say 15. 1. 5. Now. Table with 3 rows and 2. If you press tab at the end of the table, it will create a, another row which, with exact columns. Okay? These are standard things. Okay? So, this is about tables. The final thing which I'm going to show is working with PDF documents okay so 
Let's say you have a PDF document. In my case, I'm having a PDF document opened. Okay, this is the document. Contact factory selection manual English PDF Word. Now, if you have Adobe Reader or any other software installed which opens the PDF document, what you can do is press application key on the PDF document which you would like to open in the Word and press open with sub menu. You can get a sub menu there. If you didn't find Word on that list, you can select uh, choose another app or something which will be the last option and from there you can select Word 2016 or something. Okay, then it will be opened and it will ask would you like to convert the document into an editable format then you can press OK and it will do its job. Now it has been opened in the Word document which is a large file, okay. Uh, you can press Ctrl A. Characters selected. Oh my God, 39,000 characters, which means it's a long kind of thing. Okay. Page. So let's press F6. Page. Status bar. Status bar. Page number. Page one of 51. Button the current page oh. number in the document. Click or okay. tap to open the navigation. One of 51. Okay. You can check these informations from this thing. Okay. And press. Let's tap. Uh, sorry. Let's press tab to get. The word count. Word count 63, 16 words button the number of words in the document. Click or tap to open the word okay. count. 63, 16, okay. Great. Spelling and grammar check errors button checking for proofing errors. Checking, it's checking, but it does not matter because this is a well polished document, a manual kind of thing. Microsoft Word. So, I hope you know about the NVDA browse mode. Now, in my case, I'm using NVDA. What you can do is you can press the NVDA key plus space. Browse mode. To turn off the focus mode and come back to the browse mode which will enable a lot of shortcut keys to navigate through the document okay for instance if you press h you can move by heading page 6 section 2 1 welcome to the contact factory selection library heading level 1 page 8 section 3 2 overview heading level 1 2.1 general structure of the library heading level 2 2.1.1 band heading level 3 so these are headings and uh, if there are links you can press k no next link no, there are no any not supported in this document uh, links so these are the standard things you have to explore and uh, you have to get used to these things to improve your productivity and let me close this desktop so i really hope this has helped you out uh, something went wrong i hope uh, you don't mind and if you have any questions comments thoughts ideas please let me know it would help me a lot and again sorry for the audio um, it might get a little bit laggy but Hope this helps and if you have any questions comments again let me know and if you have any other recommendations and if you would like to get uh, give some feedbacks on these videos it would help me help me a lot and uh, it would mean a lot and uh, let me know in the comment section okay so thanks for watching and uh, i hope to see you in the next video signing out momarashad